So now we were talking about what ARM templates can do. Let's actually take a look at what one looks like. And so just to get a, a good snapshot or overview, let's just define what the skeleton is, the general structure of an ARM template. So here on the right hand side, we have JSON and you can see that we have a structure there. So we have schema, content version, API profile, parameters, variables, functions, resources, outputs. And let's go down the list here and see what all these things are. So the schema describes the properties that are available within a template. Uh, and so the idea is that you have that JSON link there and it's gonna say, we expect the schema, the actual structure, to have these parameters. Uh, then you have the content version. This is the version of the template and you can provide any value for this element. It's totally abstract. It's just your way of keeping track of the version of your current template. Then you have the a API profile. You use this value to avoid having to specify API versions for each resource in the template. You have parameters. These are values you can pass along to your template. You have variables. This is where you transform your parameters or resource properties using function, function expressions. You have functions. These are user-defined functions available within the template. You have resources. These are the Azure resources you want to deploy or update. And then you have outputs. And these are the values that are returned after deployment. So let's go uh, more into deep into some of these things.